It used to be sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Now it's 1,000 bottles of baby oil, cocaine, and violence. Disturbing details alleged in Diddy's sex crimes indictment. Today I'm announcing the unsealing of a three-count indictment, charging Sean Combs with racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking, interstate transportation for prostitution. The indictment alleges that between at least 2008 and the present, Combs abused, threatened, and coerced victims to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. I don't think the federal government has seen that much petroleum in one area since they lied about weapons of mass destruction. Do you think he'll beat the allegations outright or will he have to grease a few palms? It's a slippery slope success. It leads to excess. Then before you know it, your appetites, your desires, your passions are pushing your moral boundaries around on an oil slick floor. Sean Diddy Combs, one of the most powerful figures in the music industry, was hit with a three count federal indictment you mean three like take that take that take that charging him with sex trafficking racketeering and transportation to engage in prostitution the indictment lays out stunning allegations against the bad boy records founder including claims that he coerced women into performing orchestrated sex acts with male sex workers combs is pleaded not guilty according to the associated press his lawyer mark agnafillo says his client plans to plead not guilty and agnafillo says he would fight like hell to get Combs released from federal custody. Combs was arrested at a Manhattan hotel a day before the indictment was unsealed on Tuesday, September 17th. That hotel turned out to be the Park Hyatt. As alleged, Combs used force, threats of force, and coercion to cause victims to engage in extended sexual performances with male commercial sex workers, some of whom he transported or caused to be transported over state lines. Combs allegedly planned and controlled the sex performances, which he called freak offs. Make no mistake about it. This is Diddy's case. He is the driving force behind this case. So we should definitely be the very first one marched into the courtroom to face these accusations and face his accusers. But the indictment also has language that mentions multiple times members and associates, members and associates. Who are these members and associates that clearly played a very active role in helping him carry out these type of things that he was doing to people? Do they get the ride off into the Sunset? Do they get to write books and go on podcasts and tell everyone that they were there, like they were part of the story, but they leave out the parts where they were either helping him or participating? That in the indictment listed five of his AKAs like they were his co-defendants or something. According to the indictment obtained by People, Combs used coercion to make women participate in so-called freak-offs, described by prosecutors as elaborate and produced sex performances. That could mean any number of things. Prosecutors allegedly alleged that Combs would lure victims under the pretense of a romantic relationship before allegedly using force, threats of force, and coercion in order to get them to participate. The alleged freak-offs, there's that vague term again, which sometimes lasts several days and sometimes featured multiple commercial sex workers. Combs is alleged to have arranged and directed the freak-offs. Prosecutors claim he recorded them electronically and masturbated while they were going on. How far gone does someone have to be where they have to literally put together an entire production, sometimes an orgy, just to maybe get aroused enough to only masturbate. Combs, who has amassed enormous power and influence within the music industry over the past three plus decades, I was probably still in high school when he was doing all this, is accused of using that influence to ensure the women participated in the freak offs. They couldn't find a better term than that. Combs, that's what happens when you have yes men. Combs allegedly would exert control over victims' careers and leverage his financial support by threatening to cut them off, the indictment alleges. The mogul also allegedly recorded the freak-offs, which was sometimes not known to the victims. Further, prosecutors claim that Combs provided drugs to the victims to foster compliance. The drugs supplied allegedly included cocaine, oxycodone, and ketamine, among others, according to the indictment. How many overdoses do you think has happened over the years at these parties where nobody is cutting anybody off here take as much as you want get to where you have to get to so you can perform per se people getting dropped off at hospitals at random and all types of stuff like that that's all i could picture
because there's no way his members and associates job duties wasn't excluded to getting rid of dead bodies from overdoses at these wild parties because the alleged freak offs were physically exerting and sometimes lasted several days. Prosecutors say Combs and the victims needed IV treatment after freak offs. No Gatorade. You need an IV drip. Get you back in the game, baby. The need for the IV stem from the need to recover from the exertion as well as the drug use. The indictment alleged the physical abuse allegedly inflicted by Combs dates back to at least 2009. Prosecutors claim in the indictment Combs allegedly punched, kicked, dragged, and threw objects at women just a grown man throwing a child's tantrum. And his alleged behavior was sometimes witnessed by others, according to the indictment, members and associates. One alleged incident in a Los Angeles hotel in 2016 was captured on camera. Prosecutors say in the video, prosecutors alleged Combs kicked, dragged, and threw a vase at a woman in an attempt to liken the soap operas. In an attempt to ensure silence, prosecutors alleged that Combs attempted to bribe a hotel staff member who had tried to intervene. It sounds like a scene from Bram Stoker's Dracula interview with a vampire or something. Just a group of people in a house together draining each other's fluids, waiting for some fresh newbie, looking for stardom to come in so they can suck on them too. Though Combs is accused of arranging the freak-offs at the center of the indictment, prosecutors also say his employees help facilitate them. Then why aren't any of them being named? The employees include high-ranking supervisors, security staff, household staff, and personal assistants allegedly help book travel for the victims and sex workers and book travel. The indictment states, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the people in the indictment that states where members and associates were pulling guns on people and victims and witnesses to help keep them quiet. When Combs homes in Los Angeles and Miami were raided in March, prosecutors say authorities found freak-off supplies. The only thing worse than the term freak-off is the term freak-off supplies, including drugs and over 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant. The View says something interesting to the effect that it's not illegal to have lubricant or it's not illegal to have baby oil, and they are very correct. But if you're trying to paint a picture for the nation, especially if you're looking down the road to trial, perception sways the masses, and that's a good tactic to give people to scope of what was taking place at these free golf parties an overabundant supply of lubricant who needs a condom when you're covered in two inches of oil it's like you're not even touching each other there you have it kids diddy